Donald Trump's tweets pour gasoline on blaze with North Korea as war fear skyrockets. Donald Trump's tweets targeting North Korea pour gasoline on his rivalry with Kim Jong-un sparking more fears of war, political commentator Nicholas Kristof has warned. Kim Jong-un claimed there's a nuclear button on his desk as he threatened the U.S. during his New Year's speech in Pyongyang. North Korea has continually threatened to target the U.S. with its nuclear missiles program, but the latest warning has caused fresh tensions between the two states. Nicholas Kristof said a war between North Korea and the U.S. would be the most disastrous thing to happen in 2018. President Donald Trump has pledged to take care of the brutal regime, but has not yet succeeded. Speaking on MSNBC, Mr. Kristof said, There are plenty of things that can go wrong in 2018, but I think there's pretty broad agreement among international relations specialists that the single thing that could be most disastrous would be a war with North Korea. In that context, it's incumbent on North Korea and the U.S. to try to ease tensions to bring them down. And tweets like this essentially pour gasoline on that blaze. President Trump is goading Kim Jong-un to test a nuclear missile. Again? to prove its reliability, to show him wrong. Express. Home of the Daily and Sunday Express. Express underscore logo search. Find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us on Google Plus, subscribe to our RSS feed, log and register daily horoscope wraps, top 10 R paper, paper archivu, other eight London home news, showbiz and TV sport, common finance, travel, entertainment, life and style, UK world, politics, natural, royal, weather, history, obitari, Sunday, words, since Scotland, home news, world, Donald Trump's tweets, pour gasoline on blaze with North Korea as war fear skyrockets, World War III. China threatens Taiwan invasion to unify state with force. If U.S. Navy arrive World War III, China threatens Taiwan invasion to unify state. China preparing to join forces with North Korea in World War III warns military experts. China preparing to join forces with North Korea in World War III. Viewers outrage as Cherry Blair speaks on Newsnight about economic benefits of women. Viewers outrage as Cherry Blair speaks on Newsnight about Sarah Ferguson. Where is Prince Andrew Essex's wife now? Sarah Ferguson. Where is Prince Andrew Essex's wife now? Bitcoin banned, cryptocurrency to be outlawed on stock exchange over terror finance fears Bitcoin banned, cryptocurrency to be outlawed on stock exchange Donald Trump's tweets pour gasoline on blaze with North Korea as war fear skyrockets Donald Trump's tweets targeting North Korea pour gasoline on his rivalry with Kim Jong-un sparking more fears of war, political commentator Nicholas Kristof has warned. By Charlotte Davis published, 1454. Wednesday, January 3, 2018 Pipe Updated, 1455, Wednesday, January 3, 2018 7 Teresa Villiers blasts Rezmog over single Kotari D-Line attack on May Close Pause Mute Current Time 010 Slash Duration Time 025 Loaded, 0% Progress, 0% Full Screen Facebook Twitter Share Kim Jong-un claimed there's a nuclear button on his desk as he threatened the US during his New Year's speech in Pyongyang. North Korea has continually threatened to target the U.S. with its nuclear missiles program, but the latest warning has caused fresh tensions between the two states. Nicholas Kristof said a war between North Korea and the U.S. would be the most disastrous thing to happen in 2018. President Donald Trump has pledged to take care of the brutal regime, but has not yet succeeded. Donald Trump Twitter News North Korea Kim Jong-un got the MSNBC Donald Trump Twitter latest. Tweets will increase tensions between U.S. and North Korea speaking on MSNBC. Mr. Kristof said, There are plenty of things that can go wrong in 2018, but I think there's pretty broad agreement among international relations specialists that the single thing that could be most disastrous would be a war with North Korea. In that context, it's incumbent on North Korea and the U.S. to try to ease tensions to bring them down. And tweets like this essentially pour gasoline on that blaze. President Trump is goading Kim Jong-un to test a nuclear missile. Again, to prove its reliability, to show him wrong. Mari, North Korea war would threaten a million lives in days play video and fundamentally, I think it comes across as two kindergartners who are jostling each other. Expect that each other has nuclear weapons. Donald Trump has sparked further strain between the two states when he wrote on Twitter, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un just stated that the nuclear button is on his desk at all times. Will someone from his depleted and food-starved regime please inform him that I too have a nuclear button, but it is a much bigger and more powerful one than his, and my button works. In an effort to stop the rogue nation, 
the United Nations Security Council imposed tough sanctions on North Korea after its continued missile testing. Their resolution seeks to ban nearly 90% of refined petroleum product exports to North Korea. Following the UN vote, Donald Trump wrote on Twitter, the United Nations Security Council just voted 15-0 in favor of additional sanctions on North Korea. The world wants peace, not death. The North Korea Foreign Ministry responded to the UN sanctions and branded them an act of war and said, we define this sanctions resolution rigged up by the US and its followers as a grave infringement upon the sovereignty of our republic, as an act of war violating peace and stability in the Korean Peninsula and the region and categorically reject the resolution. North Korea's nuclear weapons are a self-defensive deterrence not in contradiction of international law. We will further consolidate our self-defensive nuclear deterrence aimed at fundamentally eradicating the U.S. nuclear threats, blackmail and hostile moves by establishing the practical balance of force with the U.S. Tara Mahler, a former CIA analyst, said that the only real solution to avoid conflict between the United States and Kim Jong-un's rogue state is diplomacy. Speaking to Fox News, Ms. Mahler said, I think the United States should take it seriously. I think it should encourage any form of diplomacy that the North Koreans are willing to engage in. That is not at the expense of increasingly punitive measures like sanctions. That is not at the expense of putting pressure on North Korea. But you want both simultaneously. You want to increase and ramp up pressure on North Korea like we have been doing. And you want to open to diplomacy and negotiations and talks. Talks in of themselves are not appeasement. Talks are the only way you are going to reach a peaceful solution in a conflict. In this case, potential nuclear conflict.